Good morning to you. My name is Heather Quizzle. I help women in relationship-driven businesses to get the confidence, the focus, and the mindset game to level up their business and level up their life. And today I'm talking to my network marketing friends, uh, my coaches, my doctors, my personal trainers, basically anybody who is charged with helping other people. And the truth is, when we are working to help other people, why do we go into this kind of business, this kind of work? It's because, well, first of all, as humans, we are wired to help one another. Um, but when you go into any sort of service industry, um, health industry, coaching, um, counseling, whatever that might look like, teaching, right? Um, I know that you have a heart for leading and helping other people get what they want, right? So the real question, and this comes up again and again and again, especially in my network marketing field of what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong because I have recruited all of these people onto my team, or I'm serving all of these weight loss um, clients, or I am, um, you know, helping guide these people to lose weight in the gym and it's not working. What is wrong with me? Have any of you felt this way? Like if you are leading people, if you are parenting even, you are having days where clearly there's something wrong with me because I'm not seeing results in this other person. Yes, does this make sense? I know it does. And as a coach, trainer, speaker in, in the network marketing space, this is a really huge question because again, we are recruiting people onto our teams, yet they are not hitting their goals. And we go, uh, as a leader, like, how am I failing? How am I failing? And what's wrong with me, my leadership, right? And here's the truth for you today. And in this place for any of you that are working with other people and have other people's goals in mind when you're working with them is the truth is, is that their success is not dependent upon you. Their success is not dependent upon you. And you are not charged with getting success out of other people. You have the skill set, you have the resources, you have the ability, but it is the other person's job. It's their responsibility to take your resources, take your training, take your mentorship, and actually do something with it. Now, last night, I am in the middle of, I just kicked off a 14 day challenge to help uh, people level up their business, level up their life, get really clear on their goals. And one of the, um, <clears throat> One of the most fun aspects of this challenge is each night uh, we, we have what I call a backstage pass and it's a, it's a free for all. It's a Q&A. It's how can I help coach train you through this challenge and beyond in a bigger way. And this was a huge topic last night. And I know that it, it tends to creep in and it causes self doubt. It causes lack of confidence. Like if I'm, if I'm providing the resources, if I'm providing the coaching, if I'm providing the program for other people and they're not getting results, clearly it's on me. But the truth is it's not on you. It's not on you at all. And it's a lot like the gym, it, the gym, like you go to the gym, right? And, and how many of you like hands in the air, if you have a gym membership, okay. And even if you don't, you're going to understand this clearly. You go to the gym, you get a 12 month membership. They are automatically taking money out of your account every single month for this gym membership. Have you ever gotten a call from the gym saying, Hey, we're feeling really badly. Like you've had this gym membership for two months and we're not seeing results on you. What are we doing wrong? How can we help you? No, you don't stinking get that call. The gym is not feeling that they're failing because 90% of their gym memberships are never even walking into the gym. Am I right? So you go, you get a gym membership. You understand that the only way that gym is going to work, the only way that you're going to get fit, see the biceps pop, see the weight fall off. The only way is if you go into the gym, you pick up the weights, you step on the treadmill, you take the classes, you use the resources, right? And so we have to kind of, as leaders, coaches, mentors, um, care providers, we have to take the same mentality as a, a gym, as a gym and understand like, 
I hold the key right here. I got the key. Like, you can come in to me. This, I'm your gym. Like, I got your weights, I got your resources, I got your coaching, I got your support, but you gotta come in and actually utilize me so that I can help you get results. But if you don't utilize me, if you're not plugging in, if you're not turning that key and walking into the gym, nothing's gonna change in your life. And so, my friends, leaders, influencers, you've got to get to a place where you know that you are the gym, and if the gym isn't being used, if that membership is not being utilized, all of that ownership is off of you, right? Let this just lift the weight off of your shoulder because the truth is that you are not responsible for anybody's success. And you can be really good at what you do and you can be not so good at what you do. And yet, if people utilize your resources, they utilize your experience, they utilize your programs, they will get results, period. Especially in network marketing. I've seen this over and over again. We see it with doctors, we see it with teachers. You get out of it what you put into it. That is the bottom line. So for all my hot shots that are leading and pouring into other people, just remember you keep pouring, you keep offering, you keep offering the resources, but you know, you, you can't bring the gym membership, you can't bring the free weights and just drop them in somebody else's living room. It doesn't work that way. They have got to step in. They've got to step in the door. They've got to take you up on what you know. They've got to take the resources. They've got to do the work. You simply stand there at the gym counter, be like, welcome, come in. Now that you're in, now we can get to work on what's gonna best in, um, utilize for you. So um, if you are feeling like a failure, if you are feeling like I'm not very good at this leadership thing, if you are feeling like I'm not seeing the success, there's clearly something wrong with me, let this be one of those truth bombs that no friend, no, it's not on you. There is nothing wrong with you. And one day somebody is gonna walk into your gym, they're gonna walk into your resources and they're gonna utilize them fully and you're gonna go, whoa, I'm really good at what I do. All it takes is somebody who is really driven to, to change their own life that's actually gonna utilize you, take your coaching, um, take your resources, fully engage in everything that you are willing to pour into them, and they are gonna thrive and succeed in a big, big, big way, and know that that is how you know. That is how you know you have somebody who is really dedicated to changing their life. And when you get your hands on one of those people, they're the most fun to coach. They're the most fun to lead, right? Because they're actually doing the work, they're getting results, and it's always fun when people are succeeding. So my friends, keep doing what you do. Um, our world is thriving on people like you who are opening your own your own gym of resources, skills, experience, knowledge. And without you, none of us could create change. It, it just is. There are a lot of humans on this planet who are not ready for the change, who haven't overcome the challenges to get them in the door, and are just physically not capable of taking the resources that you're offering. So keep doing what you're doing. We need you so badly. So if you know somebody who would love this, maybe somebody who's in one of these industries that I talked about today, tag them here, send this message onto them. I appreciate you guys for sharing the love, sharing my message and uh, making my life so exciting to wake up to each and every day. All right, hot shots, Mwah! make it a great day.